much leave those inside of there. So this looks pretty good. It's, it's clean, right? And if we go and zoom in, you can see like there's some little... Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Dee Willis. And in this video, I am going to be taking you on a journey on how I create clip art to sell on Etsy using Midjourney. So you're going to learn my whole process and what I do to create that in this video and if this is your first time to the channel welcome 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 i am d willis i talk about everything that has to do with creating digital products e-commerce business and mindset so if that's something that you are into go ahead and subscribe to my channel so let's just dive right on in i am currently right now inside of my mid journey i am in my client tutorial so i'm going to show you how i generate the clip art so of course we're going to start with the imagine the prompt and what i want to do say for example the fall season is coming up i might want to create a fall inspired um, lamp say i'm making clip art for home decor so i want to do fall inspired lamp i want it in watercolor and I want it to be clip art, of course, because I'm telling Mid Journey I want a clip art and I want a back, a uh, white background. And then I am going to do a version 5.2. Uh, and I do this first to see what I get. So when I click it, of course, Mid Journey is going to send me back four options. And we're going to do this in real time. So um, it should be popping up soon here. Okay, so now we have a fall inspired lamp. It should be in watercolor, clip art, white background, and a version 5.2. Now I do the first one single, and then I'll decide if I want to repeat it. Okay, because I don't want to burn up my uh, fast, um, don't get me to lie, and it's a word for it, but... I don't want to use up all my fastness and I've been on here all day. So here go the options for the fall inspired lamps. Now, if I'm digging this, I only get four options here. What I would do is I will copy this prompt right here and I will go back in and I will paste it and then I will put a repeat on it and I'll repeat it. Five times four is 20, so I might repeat it three more times. And then of course, it's gonna come up, are you sure you wanna repeat? And I'm gonna say yes. That way I get a lot of clip art, right? That I can choose from. So now it is going through the motions. It's gonna create more of those type of lamps. And then now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, I have more of them to create a bundle of fall inspired lamps to sell on my Etsy because people might want to use this for their book scrapping, their invitations, if they're making cards, if they're making flyers, you know, things like that. So they have these pieces of clip art. So what I do is I'll go through and I will look at the ones that I like and I will start to go ahead and, and upscale them. So I'm going to upscale this one. So I start upscaling them like so. And then I'll go down to the next set and then I'll upscale these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in real time. So you can see this is my process for creating the clip art. So we're gonna go through and upscale all of these and now they're being upscaled okay so they're going through the motions if i scroll down you will see so i like this one right here this this one so what i am going to do is since it's already upscaled i'm gonna click on it and then i'm gonna open it in the browser now i'm going to save the image as and then i am going to save it as lamp one okay so now that is downloaded to lamp one so we can exit out of there so i have them i have this one downloaded and i would download all of them the same okay and get them all in one location 
So another thing, let's do another one really quick so I can have two of them. And then I'll click that and say lamp two. Okay, so now I have two lamps. And again, I would do this for all of the ones that I want to edit. So then I would go in and I would go to Photoshop. Okay, so now this is the the graphic design editor that I use. I use Adobe Photoshop and everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the show notes below. But I pretty much have a file saved. I like to make my clip art a five inch by five inch and I like it in 300 DPI because some people might be printing this on shirts and I want it to be able to be printable in case if that's what they want to do. So a five by five inch is 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click my little template here. And as you can see, everything is already set. So now what I do is let's go here. Let me pull up my pictures really quick so I can go back pictures. So I can go back here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two pictures and I'm just going to drop them onto the board. And then I press enter and enter. So it puts both of them there. Okay. And I start with the first lamp and I work my way up. So now we have the lamp here and on the left hand side in Photoshop on the fourth one down it might not say that it might be a quick selection tool you will have to open it up and I go to the object selection tool and then I make sure that this object finder is clicked you can hover over it and then it will kind of like try to find and detect the object. But in this case, I just click select subject and then it selects it. And then I say select mask. Okay, so now I have it masked. I go to the second one, which is the refine edge brush and kind of go in and just click and get the white out. This is a quick way to get your let me go over there and take that off because it's on previous settings this is a quick way to get your clip art as clean as possible okay so we go around here get some of that out and i'm gonna keep that there because it looks pretty good and get that white out you can also zoom in and kind of go in and get get it really clean right now this white down here is pretty much a part of the the graphic so i kind of want to go in just a little bit you want to keep get around those edges okay so i got ahead i went ahead and did that so if you ever wanted to bring something back, of course, these other brushes do that. It allows you to bring back parts of the, the image if you erase too much. But in my case, we did a really good job on this. And so if you go down to decontaminate colors, watch the difference if I click it. Look over here at this area to the right where the leaves are. Now pay attention to this. You see how that defines it? So I like doing that and then I like to clean it up, make the opacity like the levels a little different because if you go all the way down, it puts it back to normal. So I like to go down a little bit and then make sure your output is selected to new layer with mask and press okay. And now it's on its own layer and everything is pretty good. Now, what I do is I'll go ahead and I will right click that and I will export it as. Now, again, I want to make it 1500. Now, based on this image is either going to be 1500. If it's less than 1500, I change the canvas. But since this is a 1500 um, by 1690, I leave it like that right because it's really large okay so that's good so then I make sure it's PNG so that way it keeps the transparent background 
and I'll press export. Now when I export this, I export it into a folder where I'm going to keep the housed and not let me make a folder for this. So fall lamp, fall watercolor lamp. Five by five. I'm gonna do clip art. Five by five, and I know it's 300 DPI. So I'm making a folder specifically for this, and then I am gonna take this copy out, and I am gonna save it there. So now we save the very first image. So what I do is I hide it with the eyeball. I'll hide it and then I'll turn on layer two and I will repeat the same steps. So I'm going to do it again for you in case you're following. So we have it on the lamp. We already have it on our object selection tool. We're going to click select object. We're going to select the mask. Now this has a lot of white in it. Okay. So now we're going to make sure we are using our refined edge uh, brush and then we're going to let me take off my cap locks and then we're going to go in and remove the white around the edges of this image so it can be clean now my decontaminate colors is on that's why it's flickering and that's why i like to turn it off but it saves based on the last settings well i have it set to remember settings like that and that's kind of why it remembers it. But I want to go in here and clean this up. And then, of course, I like to go around the edges first. And then I'll work my way inside. Because not all the time the white needs to be removed. Okay, so not all the time. Um, just depends on how you want your image to look and how clean you want it to be. And that, I love this tool. It makes doing your clip art so fast. and you get to really clean it so that your customers, when they buy, they have a high quality, good clip art to use. And of course you can change the size of the brush at the top up here, where I can change the size of the brush. I personally don't like it too high And as you can see, I'm actually not really going in to like the leaf. I'm leaving the white inside of the leaf itself. Now I'll get in between the leaves, yes. To make it transparent. But the white, like on the leaf, I pretty much leave those inside of there. So this looks pretty good. It's, it's clean, right? And if we go and zoom in, you can see like there's some little highlights. And let me lower this brush a little bit. And go into the corners. There we go. And go around this leaf a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Take that out. Okay, so that is, that's pretty decent. Let me get up in here. Okay, that looks good. That looks pretty decent. So now, 
I'm gonna zoom back out so we can see this here. And then now I'm going to decontaminate the color. Okay, you see how it did that? And I am gonna play with the decontamination until my satisfaction. All right, and then I'm gonna make sure it's new layer with mask and it's set. I am going to export it out. I'm gonna make sure it's 1500. Okay, that's 15 by 1800, which is great because it's a lamp, it's vertical. So it's, the length is sometimes is going to be longer and longer is better than smaller. So if this number happened to be smaller, I would leave it there, but I would change the canvas to, uh, to 1500. So it'll be a 1500 by 1500, so that way the square is even. But in this case, by it being a lamp, it's not going to necessarily be all square. So I want them to get the full just of the image, and it's to scale. And then I'm going to make sure that is that, and then I am going to click export, and it should save in the same file that I was last in. And then I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to put lamp 2. So now I have my lamp too, okay? And typically what I do here is I save, and of course I save it to the cloud. Fall watercolor lamps, okay? So I just save it. And that is it, guys. That is how I make my clip art to sell on my Etsy. And I'm going to have a link to that below. And if you're looking at starting your own Etsy shop as well, there's going to be another link in the show notes where you can start and have your first 40 listings free at no cost to you. So I'm going to have a link in the show notes for that as well. If you have any questions in regards to this video and clip art, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you more goodies next week. Okay. So until next time, bye.